Cancers, welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be your quick energy check-in reading. We're going to see what messages the universe has for you. When I was pre-shuffling for you guys, I was picking up the energy that it's going to take more than a I'm sorry in a text message to fix your broken heart. So maybe you could be holding back from someone, wanting them to get the message. Um, I feel like your silence is bringing this person a message loud and clear. All right, so we have I'm worried, wake up. Um, someone's about to receive a rude awakening. And then we have bad choices. We have cheating, healing, one last chance. Okay, so we have finality. So some of you are wanting a permanent ending with this person. No more chances. Goodbye to the old. So someone wants... Somebody wants one last chance with you. They want to heal the situation. But because this person have cheated on you so much, there's something here that um, you're just deciding to hold back. This person could be drinking. Seems to be the only thing that numbs my mental agony is drinking. We have fresh start text call. I feel like this person is going to text you and you're going to be happy to see it. But then it's like you're going to be like, okay thanks for texting me like I don't think you're going to respond to this person but you're going to be like yeah okay it was nice that you text me but paralyzed paralyzed by love holding back fear of falling in love and frustration yes yeah, some of you are cleaning up um oh, and here we are with heartbreak again this card kept coming out a lot cleaning up my life making healthy choices cutting out the negativity and frustration some of you are frustrated by this person it's like you don't want it anymore you don't feel like they're ever going to change. You feel like you just keep going through the same thing or going through more. And this person keeps promising you something, but they're they're not changing their energy here. All right. So let's get some tarot. Sarah, so what messages do you have for cancers in this quick energy check-in? What do they need to know? All right, so we do have the Page of Wands. I swear to God, the Page of Wands has been so popular amongst everyone. Like, um, Jim and I had the Page of Wands, Aries had it, and now you guys have it. It's like this person wants to end this conflict with you, but they feel like a conversation is all it's going to take. We also have the Eight of Wands here, the Nine of Swords, and yeah, this card kept coming out too in your pre-shuffle. So you're feeling like, no, it's going to take more than a conversation. It's going to take more than a text message a text message from this person because I feel like this is what they normally do. Whenever this person is ready to come back around after hurting you in some sort of way or saying something, they send a text message to see if you re reply to them, you know, like to see how you respond to it. But I feel like you guys are ignoring this person or you're not going for it. You could have blocked them. I think this person may have did a lot and they put you through some trauma here. Because we have the Three of Cups. Anxiety, hopeless, trauma. I do feel like you want to talk to this person, but you feel like it's no use. Like, why even bother? You feel like you can't trust whoever this is. All right, so we could, um, you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius that's trying to hang on to you with the Four of Pentacles. I feel like this person don't believe that it's over or they don't feel like you actually walked away, but I feel like some of you have. And if you haven't totally walked away from this person, like if you haven't physically walked away from them, this is your mindset. You may feel like, it, you know, you don't want this anymore. We also have the death card here. So you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Yeah, you want change. You want a new beginning here. You're like anything but this. You feel like you can't deal with this anymore. To be quite honest, Cancers, I don't feel like this person is going to walk away easy. So what messages do you have for Cancers? What do they need to know?
Yep, this person's not walking away easy. We have the Page of Cups. We also have the Devil. So some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. They may feel like, oh, and you say this all the time. They may feel like you always say that you're going to walk away or that you're going to end something. Oh, that card just flipped around in a circle. Six of Swords, you're not playing with this person. Four of Cups. This is someone who's seeing you already as a missed opportunity. Your silence. They're missing conversation. Or they're just missing you, period. I just don't feel like this person is ready to be committed, though. And this is possibly what you're wanting. I feel like some of you are requiring something from this person that you know they can't give or that they're not ready to give. I have the Two of Pentacles reverse. This person may come back around and tell you that they want this, though. But I don't feel like you're going to believe them. We have the Eight of Swords. Something about the communication may confuse you. Oh, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. You're no longer giving to this. Nope, because they've done too much. With the Five of Cups, you're like, okay, I'm trying to heal. I'm trying to get over the loss, the grief, the disappointment. In fact, this person is self-centered. But this could be your energy. This is how you are with them. Like you're now like thinking about yourself. You're like, no, I'm no longer thinking about you. I'm no longer giving to this connection. I feel like some of you were the queen of pentacles to this person. It's like you gave and gave until you couldn't give anymore. And they took advantage of that. And now they're ready to appreciate it, but you're done. You're over it. But this may bring this person around the way you want, but I feel like you don't even care anymore, Cancers. What messages do you have for cancers? What do they need to know? Oh, someone feels like you're not treating them fair. The justice reverse and the moon. Could be a Pisces here or a Libra. It feels like you're not being fair to them. And you feel like you're being more than fair. You're like, you know, you've waited around for this person to offer you something. Yeah. We have the Six of Wands in reverse with the Six of Cups. This person is going to come back around anyway. Because I feel like the way they're looking at the situation is that you guys have spent too much time together. You have too much history with the Six of Cups. You've known each other for too long to just let it go. But I feel like it was this person's pride and ego. And now they're trying to come out of that because the Six of Wands is reversed here. Maybe you could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Uh, we have the Five of Swords and the Chariot. So yeah, now I feel like you and this person have switched places. I feel like you're now in this Five of Swords energy. And this chariot energy is like, you know which direction you're going in. You have self-control and discipline. I feel like before you used to possibly feel weak enough to call this person after they've done something to you. Like you wanted to talk to them really bad. So this could be past energy where, um, past energy that I'm picking up on where you would call this person or text them or something. And you're just like, I can't do that anymore because if you do, this person will never change. So now you feel like you need to win at all cost. And you're being manipulative and sneaky and you're holding back. You're not letting this person know what you're feeling and thinking. This could be bothering somebody here like really bad. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. The Three of Pentacles. Well, you know what? You're forcing, well, I don't want to say forcing, but... This person may be changing because of your energy. With the Ten of Swords here, this person betrayed you and stabbed you in the back so many times that I feel like you didn't have a choice but to change. It's like the universe may have forced you to change your energy with the Wheel of Fortune here. But I feel like it's going to work out in your favor, Cancer. Being in this energy with this Three of Pentacles, 
this may be someone who comes back around to like really um do anything and everything that they can to get this working again because we have the three of pentacles here yeah i don't feel like this person is gonna let go easily it's like they may take you saying that it's over for granted let's pull some more and see yep the knight of cups the ace of cups and the high priestess Someone may be praying that you're you're not serious. That you'll come around and you'll see things their way. Yep. Someone is trying to manifest you back. Could be a Gemini or a Virgo. It's like they're trying to trust their intuition. Somebody may have some new feelings here or you could have a new person you're dealing with. But this person may be now like wanting something that you've always wanted from them. Because we have Aries energy here with the full card. So now they want to take this leap of faith. But I feel like the reason why they're wanting to take this leap of faith, Cancers, is because this person knows that you're serious this time. And that you're walking away. Like you holding back is something that they're not used to. So right there, you know, with the silence and you holding back and you refusing to talk to this person, maybe you block them. Something is going on here with your energy where you're just like, I don't care anymore. Like, it's whatever. You don't feel the need to talk to this person like you used to. We have the five of wands. So the reality of the situation is causing this person to feel conflict. I feel like the, the conflict is um, internal. Like they're internally conflicted because there's something happening that they're not used to. So they don't know if they should continue to hold back or reach out and try to have this new beginning with you. They feel like if they do, they're going to be met with resistance. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Cancer. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.